All right, so in a previous video, we had taken a look at solving systems of linear equations using substitution. I'll link that above uh, if you want to see that video, if you haven't. Um, but now we're going to take a look at the, a different technique of solving systems of linear relations, and that's using elimination. The issue here is if I try to solve this using substitution, normally you pick a variable to isolate for, but no matter what variable we isolate for and no matter which equation we use, you're going to end up ha having fractions. Like, for instance, if I choose y in equation 1, and you, were, and you were to go ahead and try to solve this using substitution, you'll see here you have y equals negative 3, 38 over 3 plus 8 over 3x. Obviously, you can see uh, that's really messy, and you don't want to be working with uh, fractions, right? So the next technique here that is used, and this is a common technique, is um, elimination. So how elimination works is you pick a variable you want to get rid of, you want to eliminate, and um, you multiply across by a certain number to make the coefficients, the numbers in front of that variable, the same. So for instance here, let's say I want to eliminate the x's. If I want to eliminate the x's here, I got to make the this 4, I either have to turn the 4 into an 8 or turn the 8 into a 4. Well, I'm going to go ahead and take equation 2. And I'm going to double it. So when you double equation 2, you multiply every term by 2. So in, in which case, this will be 8x minus 10y is 52. Okay, I'm going to rewrite equation 1 back down. So 8x minus 3y is 38. <clears throat> now what you want to do is you either want to add or subtract these equations column-wise. So by the actual columns. So you pick the, what operation is going to get rid of these. If I chose addition, it would be 8x plus 8x, which is 16x. It's no good. However, if I choose subtraction, now 8x minus 8x is 0x. Then we have negative 3x minus negative 10x is positive 7y. And again, watch the minus signs there. What I'm doing there is negative 3y minus negative 10y. So the two minuses become positive, and in which case you get positive 7y. All right, and then lastly, uh, 38. Then you take 38 minus 52, which gives you negative 14. So obviously, 0x you don't have to write down, so we write that as 7y is negative 14. Divide across by 7, and you get y equals negative 2. Okay, so this is the first step to elimination. It's the most important step. We found our y value. Now that you found your y value, you can sub that into either equation and uh, get your x. So it doesn't matter which one you use here. I'm going to go ahead and sub it into 1. So I'm going to sub uh, y is negative 2 into equation 1, in which case everywhere I see a y, I change it to a negative 2. And you get 8x plus 6 is 38, right? And then just going ahead and solving this, divide across by 8, you end up getting x is 4 here you know, fairly easily. So in this case here, therefore, in this example, the point of intersection is for negative 2, right? <clears throat> I could have just as easily chose to get rid of the y's, in which case I'd have to multiply the first equation by 5 and second equation by 3. Uh, but we'll get to more of those examples uh, in the, later on. All right, let's take a look at this one here. Okay, so for this equation here, um, again, First thing you want to do is you want to make sure it's written properly. So this is 3x plus 7y, right? It's kind of written in alphabetical order. Equation 2, they kind of mix it up on you. This will be negative 5x plus 4y is 42. All right, so now assessing this here, again, I can get rid of the x's and y's. In this case here, I'm going to choose to get rid of the x's. So if I want to get rid of the x's here, what I need to be able to do is I need to set up a situation. Let's put this over here. And you set up, set up a situation where the coefficients are the same. So I can't just multiply one equation by a certain number to make the 3 or five, the three of 5 or the 5 of 3. But what I can do is I can multiply the first equation by 5 and multiply the second equation by 3. So what happens there is this ends up being uh, 15x plus 35y equals 15. And then my second equation ends up being negative 15x plus 12y equals. Now, if you triple 
142, you end up getting 126. And now, same idea. You ask yourself, okay, I want to get rid of the x's. What operation is going to get rid of the x's this time? Is it going to be addition or is it going to be subtraction? Well, if you look here, if I would have chosen, oh, sorry, cancel those off, equation one, equation two. If I would have chosen subtraction in this case, you would have had, you'd have 15x minus negative 15x, which would actually be equal to 30x. So that's no good. The operation here in this case is addition. So if you choose addition, you get 0x plus uh, 47y equals uh, 126 plus uh, 15 is going to give you 141. So you get uh, 47y equals 141. And divide that out, and you get y is 3 here. Okay. Now that you have your y value being 3, you can sub this in into either equation. So I'm going to sub y is 3 into either equation 1 or 2. Let's just do 2 this time. So it's going to be 4 times y, which is 3 minus 5x is 42. This is 12 minus 5x is 42, uh, negative. So going ahead and solving this here, you end up getting x is negative 6 out of this equation. Okay, so putting this together here, therefore the point of intersection, again, always by alphabetical order. So x is first, so negative 6 and 3. All right, so this is an example of solving using elimination where you have to actually multiply both uh, equations to get that common. Now, notice here I could have multiplied across by a negative 3 and given me a positive 15. And then the operation, if you do that strategy, the operation is always subtraction every time if you make the coefficients exactly the same. But I thought I'd use the option of just, you know, you can make the decision whether you want to add or subtract. But again, if you force a positive 15 out of this, it'll always be subtraction. All right, let's take a look at example three. So for example three here, notice um, you've got all these fractions. So as soon as you see fractions, uh, we should get rid of them, right? As your first step is to clean this up. So I'm going to multiply equation one by 15 to get rid of the five and the three. Multiply equation two by six to get rid of the three and two. So multi across, multiplying across by 15 here, you're going to end up getting... Um, here, I'll do the step in between. So if you multiply across by 15, just to show you guys, everything separated by addition or subtraction, you're multiplying across by 15. All right. And this one, everything separated by addition or subtraction, you're going to multiply across by 6. Okay. Here, let's take these over here. We can work with them better over there. <coughs> Okay, so now what I want to do is I've got to reduce this up here, right? So the 15 and 3 be reduced to become a 5. That will reduce to become a 3. This will reduce to become a 2. That will reduce to become a 3. So rewriting our equation, let's rewrite this equation. Equation 1 is going to be 5 times 2 is 10x plus 3y equals negative 30. And equation 2 is 2x minus 3y equals negative 42. Okay? So now I want to solve this equation right here. If you'll notice, these coefficients are almost the same. So if you want, again, like we talked about, you can multiply equation 1. I can multiply across by a negative 1 and then use subtraction. Or what you can do is make the observation. I just have to add these two equations. If I add these two equations, again, you add them column-wise. So 10x plus 2x is 12x. And positive 3y plus negative 3y is 0y, so I'm not even going to write it down. And this becomes, don't, again, don't forget to take the sign in front. Negative 30 plus negative 42 is negative 72. So um, solving for x here, if you take 72 and you divide that by 12, end up getting negative 6 for my x value. Okay, so now I've got my x value is negative 6, so now I can sub that into either equation. Uh, sub into 
I'm going to sub it into one, but now notice here, you don't have to sub it into your fraction equation. You can sub it into your adjusted equation, right? So I'm going to sub that into equation one. Maybe um, we'll put, we'll call this one star and put a little star here. So in which case this is 10 times uh, negative six plus three y is negative 30. This becomes negative 60 plus 3y is negative 30. And again, you're just solving for y here, just a basic equation. All right, and putting this together here, your point of intersection, again, by alphabetical order, is negative 6 and 10. <laughs> okay, just a word of uh, caution here. Okay, we got our answer. Um, you can check to see whether this is correct right by subbing this equation back into your um, system of linear equations you should not sub it into your adjusted equation because here's the thing um, I got these x and y values doing using my math here and using this equation I even got the the uh, y value by sub it into this equation I really don't know whether I made a mistake somewhere here so if you take your equation and sub it into these ones you could get it correct but it, it has to solve the original equation. So if we do a quick check here, I'm going to sub in this into my first equation. So it's going to be 2 thirds times negative 6 plus 1 fifth times 10. And again, I want to see whether that equals the goal here. Does, does this equal, put a little question mark, does that equal negative 2? Well, this is going to be here, if you simplify this a bit, this will become a negative 2, so this would be negative 4, plus 2 is negative 2, yes. So it satisfies my first equation. Likewise, I can check it in my second. It has to satisfy the second equation as well. So I'm going to sub that in. And I want to see, does this equal uh, negative 7 in this case here? So let's check it out. And I'm just going to make this a little smaller, give us some room here. So if I check this out, this becomes negative 2 minus 5, yes, is in fact negative 7. So you see here, our points satisfy equation 2, and our points satisfy equation 1 of the original. So therefore, it is true um, what, what we have here, the uh, point negative 6 and 10 is the answer. All right, uh, that concludes solving using elimination. Thank you.